today uh, uh, it's, it's not quite a conventional sort of movie from the uh, the recurring genre currently at least I know in terms of genre it's not quite random at all but I suppose that you know, this just uh, sometimes it just happens doesn't it uh, sometimes it can be random, but not mostly. I suppose. I'd, well, it's it's you know wherever tide may lead. I suppose one might say. Anyway, um, yeah. So this is not a conventional horror film or anything, but it's clearly it clearly aspires to be based on reality, though. So nothing supernatural, um, I think. I haven't seen it, so I can't say for sure. But uh, I don't think there is, um, because it is. It seems to be about the uh, death penalty, practically, and so it's um, it's obviously sort of like legal horror in a way. Uh, especially in countries where uh, the, the process is corrupt and such, obviously. Um, even more so than it is, yeah. Uh, apparently, though, this focuses on the execution in themselves. Uh, I have really never seen such a movie before, but I suppose, you know, uh, it's one of those things where just try out sometimes one of these so uh, yeah new new topics new concepts and you know I've seen many movies where you know some sort of profession was in the spotlight it was the protagonist never so was this so sort of profession uh, in any sort of spotlight these days I don't think quite uh, like this anymore so I'm assuming this is more like a um, an ex-wielding execution I'm not really sure if uh, it's literally an ex that uh, is uh, the tool here but uh, I mean these days it's um, it's an, an injection or so so uh, I don't know if they kill uh, they're still called executioners you know whoever uh, administers it uh, they're probably more bureaucrats than executioners, which sort of makes the whole thing more a bit chilling in a way. Well, you know, uh, even, even the fact that you know, an, in an injection is obviously much less fearsome in a way, visually at least, it seems, than an axe, right? Uh, visually, at least, you know, or a sword and such. Uh, not really sure what the tool is though, so I'm just uh, making assumptions here. But I'm assuming it is. Otherwise, I mean, these these days, a judge I assume is more of an executioner than anyone. Because you know, they, other than that, they're just. Hmm. I think it may be a. Uh, Malaysian film because apparently the the language is used and so I'm assuming wait not Malaysian um yeah uh I wasn't quite very aware of this but Malaysian and Malay are different yeah. No, I mean, yeah, uh, the, the Spanish Malay Peninsula, apparently, and Borneo. But uh, other languages spoke besides Malay, so this is a specific thing. I suppose, sort of like Tamil and Hindi, I'm assuming. Or even Mayalam. Yeah, uh. So yeah, it's a uh, hmm. 
so uh, it is. It is. It seems. It seems practically it is Malaysia. So I wasn't incorrect on that. It's just a sort of subdivision as a language. Right. Now just just to be a bit more informed, I think I'm going to check whether I mean what the current status as well is of this this legal thing. Hmm. So the death penalty is in use for serious crimes, which is mental commitment. Hmm. Right, well. Uh, it's, uh, you know, it's always. It's, it's, you know, the talent is a problem just for, for the sheer fact that, uh, that you know how many mistakes I was committed to. It's one thing if um, you know it's already uh, very much a mistake if and someone is jailed for decades. Uh, such a toll, but there's no going back from that penalty. So uh, I'm not going into this film, you know, thinking you know uh, you know I'm going to you know. Uh, Relate at all to this person unless somehow they have doubts themselves. In which case, you know, uh, hopefully, I mean, that, that would make a an interesting uh, sort of uh, uh, film, I guess. You know, and if they didn't have doubts, then they'd just be a uh, the monstrous killer, I suppose. Which exists in many of the movies, but this is a uh, a state-sanctioned uh, killer, so it's slightly different. Uh, yeah. Uh, so, well, I'm still going to try to see if it has any positives in terms of a, a movie, you know? It's not, it's not like I, I, I don't watch movies that are already violent, at the very least. And yeah, by the way, this is called Apprentice. Not, not, no, no, there or anything. Just Apprentice, right? Just, to, just to be clear. That's a very fine uh, distinction. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah. So, um, and it is a movie, obviously, not a series or anything. So yeah. Um, A, uh, hmm. As I say, I, I, I always have doubts about this. I mean, I had doubts, you know, I mean, the, the most relevant re relation in terms of these kind of sort of movies, I suppose. Once I commented on a few days ago is Escape from Alcatraz, which is, you know, obviously related in this sense. Uh, I'm assuming they are both set in prison, but uh, this isn't going to be an escape. It's going to be about the other side in a sense. Uh, yeah, I, I, I don't mind watching either side really, and um, of course that's the entire point of movies. But ideally, obviously they're they're subtle. They're not. Uh, they're not just you know I, I, I love killing and yay let's get gory. Uh, to be fair, that's most horror films. Uh, yeah, most horror films aren't subtle. Anyway, I, I'm going to try to begin this now, whether it's enjoyable or not. You know, I should really, ideally, not be prejudiced, but uh, considering the topic, I mean, you know, uh, as a movie, so it's still an unknown quantity. So, you know, could be sort of, you know, such standard or so, like okay, market I mean, pe people on average seem to like that. I thought it was you know, sub standard at best, procedural on average, in my opinion, it was. 
you know, sort of, you know, uh, uh, he has this guy, he has just been transferred to prison, well, I know he's just going to escape, yeah. well, what do you know, voila. So, I don't know why people like, honestly, such uh, black and white stuff. I think I like Papillion, uh, uh, it was more subtle, I forgot exactly now, why it was. So it's just so long ago, but I think it was a bit more subtle in terms of existentialism. I think I remember being so cut and dry procedural. Anyway, I'm going to begin this now. This may be more brutal considering the topic. I, I, I mean, Alcatraz was supposed to be a maximum security prison, but uh, that, that sentence wasn't mentioned at all. I'm assuming that there were, there were some who, who were. Um, this, but um, well, in the movie it wasn't mentioned. By the way, it's very funny that I read that uh, they um, they didn't uh, they couldn't well uh, I say I suppose they, they they didn't want to specify who uh, the uh, uh, prison uh, guardian or whatever they called uh, was specifically. Uh, they yeah they. Uh, I'm not sure, I've forgotten if they invented the name or they used a uh, previous prior officer or something. Uh, they, they, they couldn't because they, they thought they I mean, he might sue them or something, which is ridiculous. Because, I mean, what, I mean, they didn't even, you know, they, they should have piled on. And he was actually on holiday while they were, while they were escaping. Like, he, he couldn't have been more negligent if he tried. Uh, he's going to sue them, is that all he can do is just sue he, uh, he was the reason why it was closed down in the first place, and uh, he's going to sue. <laughs> I bet if that happened, uh, he would have had more success uh, in, uh, uh, in suing them, and uh, he would have had uh, a as, as, as the guard, you know, you can call them that. Anyway, yeah, I'm going to just begin this now. I don't know why I'm babbling on like this. I want another film as well. I shouldn't, shouldn't probably. This is the problem, of course, when, you know, I usually, you know, finish finish commenting uh, before I uh, read about the movie so then um, you know, depending on how much information there is about it uh, so anyway yeah alright so uh, by the way uh, you, you know yeah, I sometimes comment about logos and such well Arrow Films is a very simplistic logo so you know I don't, I don't really have any positive about it don't have any positive opinion but uh, or negative about the logo itself is neutral at best, but you know, why the hell did they have that noise in, in the background? Yeah. Did, did they uh, just, you know, just think, uh, we want to annoy people uh, with the audio? You know, sounds like a, a plane screeching or something. It's so annoying. What's, what's, what's the point of that? I mean, what's the point of having it as the first noise? I guess it's hard, right? considering the topic, I guess, you know, they just want to uh, begin even in the first uh, uh, seven seconds to be as annoying as possible. Oh, I think it was an M9, I suppose. But uh, not in this case, it was anyway, mostly. The topic itself then is just, uh, you know, brutal and such. And what do you know? After after this logo and it's, it's screeched, uh, the, the other logos have no sound at all. I'm not sure who thought of that. But, uh, yeah. There's one called Making Film Productions. Well, as long as you're uh, going to have a Productions uh, in the title as well, <laughs> I call it Making Film Productions, which makes uh, you yeah, know grammatical sense. There's also a, a peanut something. I'm not sure what peanut has uh, peanut has got to do with uh, the death penalty. That yeah, it's a um, strangely made movie. So um, it's in Malay, but. Uh, Apparently there's a German company involved, supported by some region in France and loads of French um, uh, clubs of some sort. And there's also a Singapore one. Yeah, kind of confusing. So, um, yeah, so I'm not sure if this guy is the, the so-called executioner in uh, the synopsis, but um, that uh, you know the, the the one that's being interviewed at the beginning. Uh, 
you know, he, he says that he, he wants to rehabilitate prisoners. And that's that's the one thing that's not done when uh, the, the the killed, obviously, right? That's the whole point. Uh, if uh, the dead, they cannot rehabilitate. It's the entire point, right? And there's the reason why um, doesn't work really. I mean, you know, to, uh, <laughs> if if if, if uh, you know, theoretically, if, if they if, if they cannot possibly be rehabilitated, but, you know, it's, uh, it's not really you know, uh, the, even after decades, surely people can even even by the fact that that they'd be too tired to do anything. After decades, <laughs> um, so really, I don't think it's it's really possible for anyone, because whether prisoners are equipped to have rehabilitated in their entirety, never. And um, five minutes in, they already said the the word sir a million times, and it's uh, so tiring here. Yeah, I'm hoping I'd never hear it again, but I doubt it, I'm assuming I will. It's so annoying. What, what, what's the point in this repetition of a single word? So, no. And um, maybe I should mention that so that I, I do not watch these kind of films, really, in, in, in a way sort of similar to horror films, although there, there, there's, a, there's something else to those than just this. Obviously, this is closer to reality than horror films are usually. Uh, horror films are more about the internal psyche and fantasy and you know, apex of nightmares. But um, I watch these these movies on the other hand, not with as much frequency. But I watch them not to be entertained either. I mean, there, you know, there, there there are many movies where. One simply isn't entertained, and uh, you know it's, it's absurd for people to even expect to be, you know, just like with documentaries. You know, there's many documentaries where it's not about entertainment. I mean, unless literally it's about some musical genre or something. Uh, no, I, I I watch these these movies to, to to know more in a way, sort of like a documentary. That's uh, basically it, but. Um, well, unlike a documentary, I suppose they they do you know, obviously all movies do follow generally a few individuals and uh, they make it from their point of view as opposed from a sort of you know attempted uh, objective point of view. So um, this is this is uh, kind of why I, I, I'm not watching this to like it. I didn't watch Escape from Alcatraz to to, to revel in how I mean, sure the, the fact that you know Alcatraz uh, um, got demolished uh, and closed down a year later probably due to negative press of the escape is uh, sure I guess something to to be interested in in this sense uh, historically uh, other than that though. As I said, I, I'm going to this hoping that there is at least some sanity. It seems like there might be. I mean, I, you know, we'll see anyway. And um, back to trivial matters. Um, those fans, ceiling fans in particular, never seen anything, any fans so fast before. I was almost wondering whether it's being fast forwarded. Huh. I've not. I don't think I've ever. Had, no. Well, yeah, I suppose yeah. They 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 are very fast for me. Also, this is fast for everything. Okay, it's got a lot of fans as well. Yeah, I suppose it's it's a uh, one of which are hot countries. So. Yeah. But yeah, in terms of subtlety, um, the fact that those the old ones were, you know, talking. In the canteen and laughing was just, you know. I mean, I, I realize these things can very well be reality, 
that they happen outside of movies as well. But it, you know, it's um, yeah. All right, so I suppose that's a bit of um, a bit of a complication that they put in uh, the plot. I suppose uh, a bit of uh, interest, I suppose one might say, as opposed to you know the plot which you know is uh, is very linear. If, uh, yeah, I'm referring to the fact that yeah, they they the same hangman that he talked to, that he befriended, that he'll become, uh, presumably, is the one that hanged his father. And so we sort of realize suddenly why he he, he was serious. He didn't join in the laugh and such. Presumably, unless he's like that all the time, it's absolutely everyone. Um, but I mean, we should assume then that uh, that was at least a factor. Yeah, so I suppose this is a bit of a 20 minutes in, and there's at least there's this, this bump. We, we realize why his apparently sister doesn't want, doesn't like him. Uh, being uh, related, they are um, working in the, the prison system. So I suppose, in, in a sense, it's it's not simplistic, which you know is usually a positive for a movie, you know, not to be too simplistic. Uh, you know, even even cartoons really shouldn't be simplistic, you know. Like, well, there the, 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 the are ones like, I guess, you know, um, Tom and Jerry or such, they tend to be simplistic, but then there are others, uh, which, uh, well, I mean, besides anime, obviously, which tends to be complex, uh, but, uh, you know, even even uh, then, even others like Grass is sort of similar to Tom and Jerry, like a Pink Panther. I mean, you know, they, 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 they don't rely too much on... Um, Discourse on words, but still simplistic, so it's still possible in a sense. That complexity, even without spelling it out. And yeah, you know, so his sister asked him whether he, you know, he told him who he is. Um, unless she's referring to, to something that they themselves did, it hasn't been mentioned yet. It's a bit strange, isn't it? I mean, regardless of what their father did, it's not about who they are. They are separate from their father. So, um, well, uh, I'm not sure if it's a cultural thing, but um, I'm hoping that uh, they don't just leave it at that and just assume that somehow they're to blame for what their relation did. Uh, it, it, you know, if if they go into it any more than this, then you know they should be at least discuss it with sort of a, this sort of angle. You know, where it, it doesn't by default assume that uh, they have any fault themselves. So it's uh, it's absurd to think that you know, uh, children are um, uh, of as much uh, the reason for. Anything that their parents did, whether negative or positive, uh, in the sense that they aren't. Yeah. Well, but but by the way, uh, w something that I've noticed, um, that I've just noticed, you know, for the first time, because I, I actually haven't watched, um, I don't remember any other Malay films that I've watched. I've watched Hindi movies from Bollywood, but not like Malay. Um, so, yeah, so what I noticed is that they use a lot of, uh, a lot of English and it's, 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 it's almost seamless, they just transition from English to Malay, it's uh, a bit strange. Um, and it's, it is very similar to what uh, India does, it seems, I'm assuming due to um, uh, history. But uh, it, it does sound a bit strange. 
especially since you know, I I've recently watched a Thai movie and um the film that I told her. And yet it does sound somewhat like Thai. I think I was mistaken geographically the host. Uh it does sound like Thai, although for some reason I I thought Thai sounded like Chinese but it doesn't seem like Malay sounds like Chinese. So I'm a bit confused on that front. In terms of language and how it sounds, I mean I've only had it uh, yeah, mostly familiar with either South Korean or Japanese and a slight bit of Chinese but not really don't really tell the distinction between much else. And what do you know? He began smiling in his second conversation with him while smoking as well. I mean, you know, I don't know, maybe maybe he didn't like his father after all. And he was asking questions to see that so he didn't ask anything specific anyway, so and then some uh, the answers were fairly generic. Yeah, that's a strange thing. Um to to people bonding over such a gruesome profession. Hmm. By the way, it's funny that they have a poster there that says, Do you believe in second chances? And you, you cannot really say that, you cannot ask that, as you have, you know, if you impose the death penalty on some people. Clearly, as a, as a nation, there uh, you're saying, no, I do not believe in second chances. I mean, ad- otherwise, who's ch- second chances? I mean, uh, the people who are just in prison for a while, sure, I guess they'll have a second chance as soon as uh, that time uh, expires. But, you know, this is about um, everyone's second chances, so I've if you do not give, you know, that, that, that possibility to, to, to everyone, then it just doesn't exist. So you either go over this, this threshold, whatever it, it is, uh, you know, it's, it's like, you know, it's, it's this um, Rubicon that I guess legal systems have. And that. This 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 guy's going sneaking around. Um, so I mean, you know, even even just the very fact that I saw how I mean, it makes this not a, a linear movie with with a simplistic plot, but uh, it's it is in a way funny. Is you know, this is for seriously the guy who's going to come execution himself. He might end up being convicted of trespassing or something. Uh, if this is uh, the place that was said to be out of bounds, you know, so um, it's a bit strange. Someone who uh, pretends to have uh, uh, principles, although uh, in a, in, a, in the movie's con- uh, in the you know, yeah, this this is actually well, what makes movies better. So yeah, in a sense, but it, 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 you know, in reality. One doesn't really have principles, you know. If, even if the, I mean, you know, either you're either in favor of the system or you're against. But uh, this guy is trying a bit of both for now, I guess. And um, learn the ropes, really? I mean, really? It's one of those things, isn't it, which uh, is transformed from a metaphor to literal reality, I suppose. Uh, also, uh, it's one of those things. It's sort of in a grey area in terms of humour, I guess. You didn't even intend to... I, well, he wasn't laughing, so I'm on the, he didn't intend to be funny or something, but obviously it's uh, ironic at best. Yeah, and uh, 
what do you know? They're discussing humane methods of execution. Oh, well, the no execution at all, no death penalty is humane. No, <laughs> it's uh, yeah. because there are different methods that are differently painful, but you know, they are ultimately. Yeah. There are so truly some screwed up states and uh, I mean you know, how could how could um some states actually prohibit suicide? Supposedly prohibit, you know, I mean if they happen to survive. And yet have the death penalty legislated. Uh, yeah, that makes no sense. By the way, I cannot believe that even at the end, a um, prison is sentenced to death and would still cling to calling those around him. So, like, what? What is the point? I mean, you know. There's, there's no point to it at any other time, let alone then. I mean, by all means, if, you know, if it, it had any chance to somehow, you, you know, uh, make, uh, you know, change the situation, then, yeah, sure. Use the word, repeat it, why not? Just use just the word and nothing else, why not? It doesn't, so what's the point? And, um, well, alright, so what I said at the beginning would make the film, you know, more uh, subtle and complex, uh, I suppose that happened. The so-called apprentice is questioning, and he's also clearly trying to empathize with the condemned. So... It is a um, non-simplistic film, and as much as that goes, of course, it still doesn't make it um, in any way um, enjoyable. In any way, uh, but uh, you know, as long as there are countries in the world with the death penalty, um, films should uh, explore it. Otherwise. Uh, that would only be documentaries and written things, written arguments. So, yeah. I don't know how many such movies there are out there. I haven't seen any others. But I suppose these topics don't need to be explored as long as there are. There are countries out there, and uh, that there, are, there are quite a lot. Like, uh, I've just read today that um, the Kyoto animation arsonist, well, if they're found insane, they could be spared the death penalty because Japan, for all its advancement, for all its complexity as a nation and culture, still has it um uh, same thing with the US obviously and um I'm assuming um, it uh, had some influence on Japan considering the post World War Two. Uh, yeah so um and the, the the ironic thing is that this arsonist has been given the hospital treatment has been given skin draft or uh, graft, although um, apparently they try to be experimental uh, in that they offered only an artificial skin, although it seems like it uh, worked. So I don't know, I'm assuming he consented to it. So, 
I mean, even if he wasn't found insane, it's such a spurious thing. Like, oh, well, who determines his sanity anyway? So now they can confirm whether he was, you know, he was premeditated and such. But in, in the end, you know, it's, uh, even if it, whether it was a psychotic episode or not, well, what difference does it make? The, it, 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 you know, he still killed over 30 and you know he still killed many in it so either way it was horrible now whether he's in prison for life or himself dead what does it matter i mean uh, as, as long as you know he's in prison and he's not allowed to kill anyone else it's the same function as well so in a way the end result should really matter and uh, someone who killed over 30 people uh, wouldn't be allowed out of prison, even if uh, he did go uh, to prison instead of, you know. So really, it's, I, 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 it doesn't make much sense either way, you know. It's, it's sort of like saying, well, here's your punishment for killing people. I'm going to do exactly what you did for killing people. I mean, if, if there was any chance of them learning anything from it, uh, there isn't really, it makes no sense. But, you know, maybe, maybe they can learn that, you know, uh, countries are hypocrites. I don't know, but uh, what difference does it make? Of course, in this movie here, uh, it's uh, even worse. I mean, um, I'm, ass I'm assuming the countries that do have the death penalty have it mostly. Well, hopefully, for just other sorts of murder, you know. So in a way, they can justify it by saying, you know, like with like and such. Which, which you know, in terms of, uh, you know, it's not really, it's not, it's not real. I mean, you know, in the end, it depends on whether you know they, they want this, this supposed justice versus possible rehabilitation, even if. Yeah. Honestly, yeah, I mean, there's no chance of people learning anything. That, that, that's that's certain. So what's, what's the point? If they if they stay in prison, they they could they could change their minds. Um, honestly, there's no no possibility at all. If, yeah, so yeah, it's, but but yeah, the the point of contention here where this apprentice disagreed. Was about you know uh, non-murder sentences, which uh, is obviously worse. And what do you know? The um, old one uh, seemingly got uh, angry, and ironically nearly hit and possibly killed someone if they had hit him. Um, yeah, which is very ironic. You know, it's, 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 it's very telling, isn't it? Uh, he thinks that you know people should be killed over non-murder offenses, and then he nearly, you know, he was so reckless he nearly hit someone with his car. But you know, as uh, as I said at the beginning, um, you know, he he really is not at all seriously following his supposed principle that he he iterated at the beginning in terms of rehabilitation. Yeah. He he really seemed to well he he claimed to believe in second chances and this this is obviously not evidence of it you know I'm sure he's questioning but uh, he's still going ahead and unless there's a change of mind at the very end but presumably he, 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 these are his new principles per se and um, sending them to a better place they say ah. Uh, well, wow. that's, that's, that's true, yeah, that's true, with all the crazies and the hypocrisy around, I mean, you know, uh, nothingness is better than, you know, all this, uh, this insanity here, yeah, and clearly, right, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's, it's state-sanctioned murder, isn't it? And what do you know, the apprentice washes his hand, like, is it Caesar? 
Ah, oh, no, no, the, the, the blood is very sticky, you see? And, and vomit, like, seriously? I mean, you know, what, what, what's the point of... I mean, it's not like anyone forced him to do this. Um... Yeah, people are strange, aren't they? So this 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 is the thing. I mean, I mean, you know, it's not like you know. I would never work as a as a surgeon, right? As a as a you know like a, a, a brain surgeon or any other you know. I wouldn't I wouldn't work in in in, in a sewer as well. Yeah, because you know I I I know that you know just. They they don't use a certain noise, I don't say the least. And those aren't even moral issues, so. <laughs> yeah, so some people feel I, I I don't understand. I mean if if, if they knew that this was uh, induced a certain sickness, then yeah. And to be sure, he he has gone through all this up to this point, after the one hour mark, um, knowing that, you know, he, he, the, the, the old executioner himself said very clearly that, you know, he could never find anyone else after the, la the last uh, relationship ended due to his very career. And he went through with it, even after his own sister said she's going to leave because she has a, her own relationship. And now he's desperate to call her. I mean, what, what do people get in these situations? It's not like, you know, he cannot find a relationship right now because that's his career, but it might very well end up being so. You know, just simply repeating uh, the old guy's life. And he seems terrified of it. And yet, I don't know if he's going to back out or not, but uh, so far he's, he's come up to this point and it makes no sense. Either he doesn't know himself, yeah, or he's just winging it or something. I mean, let's, let's just say um, he grew up from his Popeye days. Oh. Uh, he's um, he's become sort of the anti Popeye in a way. And um, yeah, by the way, this um, I was I was thinking this is Malaysia all along, considering uh, the language is Malay. But actually, apparently, it's set in Singapore. Nobody mentioned anything, but uh, but uh, it's it's just said to be on the birth, birth certificate. And uh, unless he happens to be born in another country, which is always possible, I mean, uh, close by, you know. And so, uh, well, I I just don't get why he's taking it out on uh, some furniture. I mean, he could just just not agree to it. No one is literally forcing him. I'm not sure why. They even uh, wonder. I, I, I don't get it. I, I, I just don't get it. Well, I'm getting it. Well, in a way, it could symbolize the destruction of his childhood. But he's, he's willingly doing it. It's just a point. I have very little sympathy for him. And I mean, this. This. Movie was a bit strange, to say the least. It was very much strange. It clearly wanted the audience to 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 feel some sort of sympathy, but not not really. Not if that just because he happened to try to empathize this doesn't mean anything i mean in the end you know empathy is supposed to be about you know and you know it it, it it does usually have an influence on decisions and apparently his only influence is to go ahead with this and in the worst possible manner as well in in this in this context you know, it ended with the murder of 
not even a murderer, right? I mean, it couldn't get worse than that. The state is clearly committing a bigger crime than than the individual, and that is the very definition of oppression, clearly, uh, op uh, lethal oppression in this sense, uh, very much so. I have very little sympathy for him, you know, if he quit his job, yeah, but I mean, you know, I'll just, i just brush it off to, to curiosity, I suppose, he didn't, so, clearly, he exploited the fact that there was an accident, nah, I have virtually no sympathy for him, virtually, I mean, obviously, the, 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 the movie tries, as I say, to make, to create, Sympathy, as if as if somehow it's manufactured uh, vaguely, you know. No, uh, just like I really have uh, no um, understanding of of even how. Uh, you know, it, it's not logical. It's not even it's not even a, an emotional thing on its own. It's just not logical for this. I mean, you know, it would only be logical if. The executioners themselves are executed because I mean, what, what, what else are they doing? The only, only reason that you can do it you know, legally is because yeah, uh, uh, the system somehow thinks that um, well, the the best case scenario is that a murderer is murdered, but you know that, that that's the best case in the sense that uh, well, I'll, I'll show you how bad murder is by murdering you. Yeah, which makes little sense, you know. Um, I mean, you know, the 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 people could have people could have killed the uh, Kyoto Animation murderer, uh, even if I mean, you know, in the situation of you, you know, uh, you know he happened to survive. A pe some a, a mob could have taken over, and you know. Just because they thought that would have been justice, I mean, he, he seemingly pre was prepared to die and, uh, of, of, of the methods uh, he used, and he nearly did. He just uh, happened to not die. Um, uh, but what's, what's the point of that, right? So, I mean, you know, he, he, he committed quite a, a, a lot of murders, uh, you know? Um, what's the point? Would have been much better in in in, in that uh, case to to uh, have uh, monitored him much more closely, especially since uh, he he had uh, already been convicted and had uh, mental health problems, and they didn't um, they had very lax fire regulation in that case uh, as uh, as a nation. Um, you know, this is uh, so, and uh, you know, it's just so hypocritical to do it with no murders. I mean, it's not hypocritical, it's just uh, awful, right? I mean, much more awful. I mean, sure, uh, I mean, he, he killed so many people, at least. Uh, I mean, uh, you know, people who actually kill people, uh, it, it, you know, so, it, you know. At, at best, it's uh, you know Old Testament uh, uh, justice. At best, it's not justice. It's just uh, sort of equalizing the sum in a way, you know, like an equation. But uh, you know, it's it's not justice. It's certainly not rehabilitation. Obviously, um, this is the point. I mean, if if uh, a, a, a legal system is supposed to be about justice, then it, it, you know, this just isn't it. You know. The, the the only way it would it would be it is if there is some sort of rehabilitation and uh, you know even if they never leave prison I mean that 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 would be the only way really um, because I mean sure sure enough if somebody kills many people uh, you know uh, ever leaving prison would be really you know uh, wouldn't be fair for uh, everyone died and their families but you know what is what is fair i mean you know the only practical thing that the death penalty does is, is, is that it prevents them from ever committing uh, the crime again but um, 
and the, that could still be done in a prison. So really, it's um, impractical. It's, it's something practical. It's, it's just useless. It's it's just you know, and uh, as I said, I mean, it's so much more awful when it's not even mad that they're, they're dealing with. I mean, what was the point? The hypocrisy is through the roof. You, you know, it shouldn't even be uh, about politics or anything, or even about you know. Um, but uh, in terms of this movie, and who ate, this, this is movie commentary, and sure enough, I mean it's it's clearly thought provoking, and you know at one point when the old guy and the new one were were arguing, and you know nearly had well pretty much had a fallout, but you know that was a powerful moment, but then then it just it just ruined it really, kind of like he ruined his own furniture. The movie clearly was ruined by the director, whoever decided to go in this direction in terms of uh, the script. What's the point? What's the point of him vomiting? I mean, sure, this, this the destruction of the furniture makes sense in this in the sense, you know, b b before he 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 wanted to fix it. So in a way, I mean, that is honestly the most symbolic sense that there is in this in this movie but on its own it doesn't really i mean revive this movie in this sense but, um because you know his vomiting and his uh, efforts at empathy i mean what what empathy he 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 couldn't even be bothered to talk to the second guy he he he, he seemed he was seemingly going to but then he gave up and then he destroyed his furniture. I mean, it makes no sense, right? At least the old guy tried to simulate empathy. He he was effectively even worse at the end than the old guy. What was the point? Even if it was a simulation of empathy, at least he tried. Uh, even if it was so, he, he could make it easier for himself. At least... You know, as a function. This is the, the, the point, right? The... the the end result should should matter in uh, in, in many cases in, in in law, in careers, and the end result of this is uh, the destruction of his furniture and uh, the destruction of all his principles as well. So practically, at the end, he had no principles. No? I, I I don't know if he decided to do it because of an increase in his wage. That is not mentioned at all, so you cannot say, well, oh, yeah, oh, at least yeah, he, he's, he was a poor guy. He, he wasn't a poor guy, because this is the thing, right? He really seemed to just get rid of all his qualms at the end. You know? And I mean, sure, sure enough, it uh, doesn't, uh, it, it, it indicates that it's not a, um, it's not a straightforward movie. It's not just, you know, someone merciless from the very beginning until the end just just brutally murdering people but yeah uh i mean it, it tried to tackle all uh, the, the, the subject from a from 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 a from a uh, a thoughtful point of view but it it ended i mean endings for movies are, are always dif difficult you know obviously people have different opinions of how movies end but in this case, it, it made very little sense. Because, you know, at the, at the beginning, you know, when he vomited, and when he, 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 you know, I mean, what's the point of vomiting? How could someone go from vomiting to actually going ahead and shedding all your inhibitions? I mean, you know, it makes no sense. Uh, yeah, just, um... In fact, he was nearly freaking out, trying to call his sister, just, you know, and then suddenly, no, it's all fine, I'm just going ahead, no matter what, regardless. Uh, I mean, in a way, it sort of reflects on the illogicality of Death Penalty in the first place. But as a movie, it made little sense, because of, you know, of, of factors that there were in the beginning. It would have made more sense if he just rejected them. If, if, if they just charged him, it would make more, even more sense. I, as it is, it's just... They're hypocrites all around. It's just as simple as that. As a movie, it doesn't work because it's inconsistent. It's as simple as that. Right? It tried 
to tackle things com from a complex point of view, but it really failed to deliver in the sense. 